One of the interesting issues is that somebody buys a company and then they, I don't know, they get all wrapped up in whatever else they're doing. I mean, maybe they're, they go back to school or they have a baby and everything just becomes all about the baby. Or maybe they just are retired and they go off to Greece for nine months. I don't know, whatever it takes you away from it. And you come back without having looked at this investment at all, not for one minute. And you come back nine months later and, and you wanna catch back up. Now let's say that that investment, I use Chipotle Mexican Grill all the time, you guys know that. So let's say it's Chipotle. And you went away at just the wrong time in 2015. The stock was sky high, $760 a share. And when you came back nine months later, it was selling for $400 a share. And they had had E. coli poisoning in their restaurants for three months. And that was followed up, you know, the day before you got back, you saw in the news that they just had a bunch of norovirus in their restaurants. And now you got reports saying that, you know, Chipotle has lost its edge, its management team's no good, they've broken their moat because their moat is all about healthy, healthy eating. And you go there and you get disease. So the moat's broken, short positions going on the stock, nobody wants to own it. Where are you at? How, how upset would you be? So this is the beauty of the investing strategy that Buffett's taught us, is that you bought that company, let's say you did a good job, Chipotle is a wonderful business. And that means that it can go through these bumps because it has such a strong moat that's protected um, against competition that it can go through these kinds of vicissitudes of life. And your action would be the same if you were sitting at home paying attention as it is not paying attention at all and going off to Greece. It's a wonderful business. It's a great franchise. What do you do? You do nothing or you buy more. Those are your, those are your two choices. That's it. And how do you know which one? Well, if you've just spent nine months screwing off and not paying any attention, and you wanna spend the next nine months screwing off and not paying any attention, then obviously you're just gonna sit there. You're gonna let the company be alone. You're not gonna do anything to it at all. It's a fantastic business. The ship will be righted and it will go on and do well. And if you're paying attention, you might look at this and go, this is a great buying opportunity. I should be loading up the truck with everything I can get my hands on and buying more. And I'm using that example because I own that company off and on. And that stock went from 400 down to 250 and then went to 2000. And that's a great example of how powerful this strategy is for people who wanna have a life, for people who wanna enjoy their retirement, for people who wanna enjoy their children, people who have no interest whatsoever in sitting at a desk, looking at computer screens all day long, figuring out what clever thing they can do in the market to beat all those Wall Street guys. We just don't do that. We buy wonderful businesses, we buy them as if we're gonna own them forever, and if they have a bump in the road and it doesn't change the story, we just leave them alone. Thanks for watching everybody, I hope you found this video helpful. For more tips and advice, join one of our upcoming workshops that are linked in the description below, and I'll see you in the next video.